The vast majority of computer surveillance involves the monitoring of data and traffic on the Internet. In the United States, for example, under the Communications Assistance for Law Enforcement Act, all phone calls and broadband internet traffic, emails, web traffic, instant messaging, etc., are required to be available for unimpeded real-time monitoring by federal law enforcement agencies. Packet capture is the monitoring of data traffic on a computer network. Computers communicate over the internet by breaking up messages, emails, images, videos, web pages, files, etc., into small chunks called packets, which are routed through a network of computers until they reach their destination, where they are assembled back into a complete message again. Packet capture appliance intercepts these packets as they are traveling through the network. In order to examine their contents using other programs a packet capture is an information gathering tool, but not an analysis tool. That is it gathers messages, but it does not analyze them and figure out what they mean. Other programs are needed to perform traffic analysis and sift through intercepted data looking for important, useful information. Under the Communications Assistance for Law Enforcement Act all U.S. telecommunications providers are required to install packet sniffing technology to allow federal law enforcement and intelligence agencies to intercept all of their customers, broadband internet, and VoIP traffic. The large amount of data gathered from packet capturing requires surveillance software that filters and reports relevant information, such as the use of certain words or phrases, the access of certain types of websites, or communicating via email or chat with certain parties, agencies, such as the Information Awareness Office, NSA, GCHQ and the FBI spend billions of dollars per year to develop, purchase, implement, and operate systems for interception and analysis of data. Similar systems are operated by Iranian secret police to identify and suppress dissidents. The required hardware and software was allegedly installed by German Siemens AG and Finnish Nokia.